In this illustration, we will discuss about the motion of a dumbbell in vertical circular motion. Here a dumbbell consists of two masses A and B. Each of mass M joined by a light rod of length L with mass B attached to a suspension point O by a light rod of length L as shown in figure. And we are going to find the minimum required speed with which mass A to be projected horizontally so that the system completes the vertical circular motion. Now in this situation when the system completes the vertical circular motion, whole dumbbell both the masses A and B must reach the topmost position in the path. So here we can see when A is imparted, a speed u, b starts with u by 2, because due to this speed u, the angular speed of this motion would be u by 2l, omega will be u by 2l, and the speed of b attained would be l omega, that will be u by 2 as it is located at half the length. So, in this situation, we can also write u should be such that both A and B reach the topmost point of circular motion. This implies using work energy theorem, we write Initial kinetic energy of the system would be for Bob A it is half m u square plus for Bob B it is half m u by 2 square. And when they will reach the topmost point B will be raised by a length 2L. So this will be minus mg 2L. A will reach to a height 4L. So this is minus mg 4L and this should be equals to 0 for the minimum speed of u. So, in this situation here, m gets cancelled out. And further simplifying, we can see it is u square plus u square by 4. So, this half of 5 u square by 4 is equal to 6 gl. So, this gives us 5 u square is equals to 6 multiplied by 8, it is 48 gl. The value of minimum speed which is to be given to A for which it will reach the top will be root of 48GL by 5 which can be further simplified as 4 times root of 3GL by 5. That will be the result of this problem.